Hey everyone, welcome back to Halo Reach. And I'm gonna shut the hell up. Report will have to wait, Lieutenant. The Covenant are jamming all comms to command. Cat needs your help running a counter op. It's good to have you back. Sorry I came alone. Make him proud. <laughs> so yeah, that's a very, very just quiet scene, honestly. All right. No. Here's the situation. Covenant have deployed multiple long-range comm jammers and high-rises across the city. We can't hear Holland, and he can't hear us. We're totally cut off. Trooper squads have been trying to take the jammers out, but the cab is attacking tight. When I confirm target, I need you to pick them. Hard. How does this thing go? Okay, so it's left trigger to go up, and then I have a gun on the front, which is fired with right trigger. This is weird. So this is the level I'm actually rusty on. Um, in my playthrough of Legendary, my most recent one that is on the PC, um, I actually have not uh, done this level yet. Mostly because I was dreading this vehicle section right here that I'm playing. Oh, please, guys. Oh, please. Alright. Let's bring her in. Not exactly a helipad, but it'll do. Alright. And then let's get rid of this as soon as we can. an engineer in here. There he is. What? Oh, there's glass. I've been tricked like a housefly. There we go. So, why are there shields still here? Hmm? Is there a second engineer on the grassy knoll? There we go. Oh boy. You know, why, why are military men always just telling someone to move, 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 you know? I don't think you need all three. Was that? Okay. Ooh, armor abilities over there. And that. 
allowed to say that too. Contact two and ten o'clock. I'll hold them off so you can get to the other side. Through that doorway. Move, move, move. I'll get Bunshin no jutsu, bitch. There we go. See, these are always really, really good. Drop shields are always good because they always allow reliable regeneration of health no matter what. You know, reliable as it takes a couple of seconds and it's on cooldown. But... It's certainly not nothing, and you can put it in your pocket. As long as you have the time, it works. It's all I can ask for in a partner. I mean, a armor ability. I was thinking about a Devil May Cry meme, don't mind me. Don't at me either, for that matter. Oh dear. If I remember correctly, you actually can shoot grenades out of the air. I'm just not skilled enough to do so. Hmm. A stealth ability might be better here. My rust on this level is real. I've done so little of it. Uh oh. Just itched my head there for a sec. Oh, sorry. Humans are so weird sometimes. Here, I'll tell this thing that I don't like in English that I don't like it. Thanks for the assist, Spartan. Who? See, like... Let me see here. It's you. Yeah, that should be it, right? Has Brian David Gilbert done an Unraveled episode about Halo? I don't know why he would, but I want to see it, you know? Take it. Thanks for the assist, Spartan. You got it, bro. 
Now can you watch my back? Oh, it's elites, huh? That's a uh, that's not good, not at all. Especially, I'm gonna have to outfight him like this. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, I don't have to do. I'm the God of War. Now I loot the bodies of my foes. I switched up my uh, microphone position because I've been sitting so far out of whack that my, I've been dislocating my own spinal cord, mostly because I'm kind of an idiot. Not to mention bisexual. I digress, though. Um, so if my audio sounds a little weird this episode, it's because the microphone is not where it normally is. Or at least not where it has been for a little while. It hasn't always, always been there, but I put it there for reach because it worked well with the recording system I had uh, with the controller with reach. And then I just kind of kept it for uh, Kingdom of Loathing and for the uh, other LP that I actually haven't recorded yet. Or it might not be an LP. It might be something. Um, but as I record this, I've just recorded a shitload of KOL and Reach back to back to back. I recorded like four episodes of KOL and pretty much every episode of Reach in like a day or so. I mean, a little more than a day, but I'm on weird day systems anyway. Hmm. Oh, come on, please. Okay. Okay, so now what am I doing? Am I just killing these? Well, the three to command. Covey's got us pinned down on the rooftop. We need help pronto. Uploading waypoint now. Over. Copy one out to six. Nova six. Proceed to waypoint to speed to oh. This isn't great. Oh, that's cool. I do really like the city destruction shit you see in this. That's Wolf. She was so clinical about that. She was like, yeah, uh, the world's ending. Can you go fix that? Give me a coffee whenever. Um, I keep meaning to say this fact, but um, apparently, allegedly, Carter and Kat, the Spartans, uh, had a relationship prior to the, like, game, um, which is apparently why they're just a little terse with one another. Oh boy, it's a big boy down there. All right. 
Oh, come on. Jesus. Really? I mean, I guess it makes sense if I'm not supposed to land it. But also, there's a lot of artillery on that one building. It's like if you put a railgun on a postage stamp. What's with the beat of this machine gun? Like, I'm trying to think of something to even say about it, but, like, it's just so... It just kind of is. Okay. Now, will I be safe to descend? Oh, hold on. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Hmm. That's not great, I'll be honest. Oh, okay. Well, that makes it a little better. See, the issue is, is that I just really don't trust getting into the ship. Then again, I do actually have a checkpoint as well, so maybe it won't be too bad. Carts are popped! Sorry, that was a strange thing to say. See, there you go. You know, it costs no money to be thankful to your subordinates. Guess more flies with honey. Okay, so let's go to the top of that thing. Yeah, this one. Alright. Now what does this do? Okay. Number six, I'm sending you an evac transport. Okay. Report Charlie two seven to command. Request immediate assistance. Go ahead two seven. We're at the Virate Telecom Tower. Got hunters between us and the jammer. Copy two seven. Help is on the way. Number six. I'm sending you coordinates for the Virate Tower. Go get those troopers unstuck. That's going to be a bit of an issue. I uh, don't seem to. There we go. All right. This level's kind of flat, honestly. Like, I know that Halo, like, 
loves vehicles because, you know, part of their thing is that they really invented the vehicle level. I know. Though they did popularize it along with the other hallmarks of the, like, quote-unquote modern first-person shooter. And so, like, having this sort of thing is, like, it makes sense, but, like, meh, you know. There's just not a lot going on. Cat's just like, uh, hey, go go deal with this. And then you go deal with it, and then Cat's like, uh, we got another one. Go deal with that, you know? I feel like I'm side-questing here. Um, and I don't, you know, maybe that's intentional. You know, you could maybe argue that, like, they wanted to make a point about how, like, futile it really is to try and save anything in the city. Yeah, it's just, like, difficult to really feel like you're making progress sometimes. I don't know on how intentional it is. pretty clean encounter, all things considered. It took some health damage, but that's okay. Stop back up. Okay. But yeah, there's a... There are right and wrong ways to pace a game. Front page news. As I was saying, there are right and wrong, wrong ways to pace a game. Um, the gold era, golden era of Capcom is a bunch of really good examples. The ones I would usually go for is Devil May Cry 3, although uh, Resident Evil 4 is also really well done. Where it's like, big bombastic opening, then you slow it down, and then you like drip more cool stuff into the player. Hmm. You drip more cool stuff into the game to keep the player interested. And then you put the lame stuff in between cool stuff. So, like, if you have to do a puzzle segment, then you can put that right in between something lame. And now, you know, the player's, like, still high off that thing that they did last segment, you know? Like, something that I always think about, one of the lamest levels in Devil May Cry 3, there's, like, four hunters in here. Let me do this. It won't do me much good, but it will protect you guys from a couple shots. But yeah, like, the lamest level in DMC5 is, uh... The Leviathan's Tummy level. Oh, boy. War, I'm a hunter. But yeah, Leviathan's Stomach, when the, when the beast swallows you, that one's real lame. Oh, boy. Uh, but it comes right after the hypest thing in the game. Well, one of them. In a game made of hype. It comes right after Virgil Battle 1. So they know that they can give you a real sucky, shitty level. Because right before it, you get some for real dope stuff. And also, this like dumb, bland, boring, gross level is the level where you get the ability to actually play a while with Double Trigger for the first time. And there's more balancing acts that have to be done. Like, for instance, how the player navigates. There's another ex really good example in RE4. Um, the moment after you get Ashley, you have to learn how to deal with both her and yourself. You know? Because just keeping yourself alive with the zombies is one thing, but keeping a someone who is a non-combatant is hard. But the first area you really go through with Ashley is backtracking through the first real zone. And the reason that that's a good thing is because you already know that zone, so you don't really need to learn the area. So you get a, you know, not a completely blank slate to learn how to deal with Ashley, but you get a very decent part that you know to deal with Ashley. 
it's not nothing, but it isn't, you know, just a total wipeout. It's just something that helps the player out a little more. Am I doing this right? Oh, shabooms. But yeah, it's probably like something very intentional that's also done here. Where like we want the player to be able to more more in like the DMC's like pacing style than what I was talking about with Resi and pathfinding, but it's very much like we want the player to be able to feel cool. So we want to give them a dope level like the big heroic escape from uh, Exodus. And that's the biggest like single victory in the game. Like the fact that you actually get a shitload of civilians out is, you know, one of the only victories that is not immediately nullified by the Covenant. And then they give you this where, you know, you are just fighting a losing battle in the sky. Okay, we're almost there. S Sino Viet. Uh, I think Sino, or Sino possibly, is uh, what a lot of other countries call China. Um, so, like, wars with China are like the Sino blank war, like the Sino American War and Fallout. And then I assume Viet is like Vietnam. Sino Viet. Interesting. I wonder what that actually means. That was really dumb. But yeah, we're almost done. This is the this is the home stretch. I wonder how it works to set up set up a shade turret, you know? Are there, like, Allen wrenches involved? Do they have to, like, screw them into the ground, or they just plunk them down and they're good to go? Yeah, I've seen movies too, buddy. Okay, now give me this. Actually, you know what? I'm fucking working on it. Okay, okay. Jeez. Just cover my own ass for a second here. Oh, I got a checkpoint, good. It's always good to get a checkpoint with uh, full or fuller shields. Oh, great. Oh, boy. Okay. Well, now, let's see if we can't make this work for us. He's skinny at this. Okay, so now I've just got to turn around and go straight to him, because that's what's ruining my day. The fact that I can't cover my own back is pretty, pretty unfortunate. I would have loved to have killed him earlier. This is Hello at me, camp. I act as schematics. I'm still kind of not sure how I feel about, like, the bizarre sexual dimorphism of Spartans. Like, Spartan women are apparently just so curvy that they look like Butch Hartman drew them. And, like, I know why it looks like that. It's because if it wasn't that extreme, then it wouldn't even be obvious. And 
that would mean that there wouldn't really be a reason to make your Spartan a lady or a woman, but like, don't be a fucking coward. My ideal noble team is like, all women who look like George. Mustache is optional, you know, wear what you want. I know it's not really what the uh, developers of Bungie were probably going for, but it's out of their hands now, right? Okay. Did I did it? Oh. Is that raindrops keep falling on my head? Uh. Dude, imagine if you dropped your car keys down there. That's like a that's like a country mile. That's I would say that that's ridiculous. Oh, this is that multiplayer map. Right. I was just playing on here a couple days ago. Okay. You know, I probably should have turned up the uh, record volume for that, for the game audio. Though, you know, that also is why I stay silent. All right. This is another good example of asset reuse, because this is a really cool area you basically never go to. Hmm. They're loading me up with good weapons, which uh, I, of course, don't trust for a single damn second. Close to the gemma. Destroy it. I seize it. I seize it. Alright. And then the building gets stormed by uh, aliens. Get the hell out of there. <laughs> I love how she said that as though anyone was surprised besides her. It's a trap. Oh, these guys. The Yagma. So, something interesting about Yagma, actually. Well, I think it's interesting, at least. And unfortunately, you're watching my show, so you be damned. Um, their planet has much higher gravity than Earth and uh, a lot of the other human-settled planets. So, on their planet, they can glide and do a good jump they cannot fly. And they got to low gravity planets and they were like, oh shit, man. Fucking flying and stuff. Now, of course, I probably could just get the hell out of here, but uh, I kind of just want to stick around, take a look, you know? I love this level. This is the one that uh, I believe me and my sister always played on. Hmm. Yeah, that'll do. Although, you guys are definitely making me want to change my opinion on that. I'm not feeling so hot about it now. Alright. I also really like this feeling, because this level is always, like, it's one of the more well-known popular multiplayer ones. And so being here when it's empty of not only, like, Spartans, but also of just it being empty of people, 
is a very eerie feeling, really. Damn. Trying to hot swap. You know, you just very much have a feeling of like, yeah, we're just, just bu me and the bugs, you know? Now, if you'll excuse me, bugs, I will be uh, on my way here. Six. Ten more jammers just showed up on our radar. You're going to have to go down and shut them all down, but first. That was a joke about how he's going to have to go ass first into uh, the jammers, not that. But first, you have to get me a sandwich. So, just in time for uh, progress to happen, the Covenant undid it. It does feel a little hopeless, you know. Last one alive, lock the door. I'm not sure how, like, intentional it is, but, you know, now we're just fucking doing a escort mission, almost. You know? Not really a lot to talk about as well, you know. I got my eyes on six long range shade turrets in the vicinity of the Oni Tower. They can lie pretty tough on our evac birds. Yeah, yeah, I hear you. I already see the big old arrows. Another shade turret down. I thought she was gonna tell me another one showed up. Uh, I'm aware. I know, Cat. I'm on my lunch break. Are you happy? Cool. Alright, if I remember correctly, coming up is one of the lamest cutscenes in this whole fucking game. Oop, 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 oop. There we go. All right. Now, everyone think about George and how rad his death was, you know? Big heroic sacrifice, big beautiful explosion. Used to be the crown jewel. Not anymore. Just hey, remember it in your head. It's a regular family reunion. Keep him. I gave him to you. I'll honor him my own way. I do love Emil for that. George always said he would never leave Reach. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the big man was sentimental. He gave his life thinking he'd just save the planet. We should all be so lucky. Sir, is that true about Counter Thread and Echo Teams assigned to civilian evac ops? Those are senior level communique. I hear what I hear. Point is, why put Spartans on defensive deployments? I need that link to SATCOM, Cat. Chasing it. But this console's got more shrapnel in it than transceivers. You didn't answer my question. You want to know if we're losing? I know we're losing. I want to know if we've lost. Good line. Colonel Holland hailing us. What's he doing on an open channel? Let's hear it. In the southwest quadrant of the city. Over. Sierra 259. If you are receiving, I am authorizing override of radio security protocols to link with this channel. How long for a secure link? I can't guarantee secure anymore. Could Covenant trace it to us? I could. Noble leader, this is a priority one hail. If you are receiving, acknowledge immediately. Keep it brief. 
Carter here. Yes, sir. You mean... We got movement. Multiple Covenant vehicles vacating the area. And they're in a hurry. How often you see Covenant retreat for no reason? Radiation flare. Big. 40 million root guns. Just lost Holland. What's going on? Atomic excitement scrambled the signal. 90 million now. Source? Airborne. Close. How close? That close! Dressing. Me too. Don't worry, I'm on it. Our best option is a fallout bunker on sub-level 2, 96 meters northeast. We get orders from Holland, sir. We're being redeployed to Sword Base. Sword? Covenant own it now! Which is why they want us for a torch and burn off. Keep Dr. Halsey's excavation data from falling into enemy hands. It hasn't already. Maybe, but according to <sighs> Holland, Covenant are still hunting for something. Where does he get off calling a demolition a priority one? Ugh. Yeah, that'll do it. Come on, come on, get in. Let's go. Come on. So that's the lamest death in this whole game. Like, she just gets shot in the head once with a needle. Now granted, it could be a needle rifle. But also, where were her shields? The needle doesn't go if you have shields. You need, like, a human sniper rifle for that. Now, granted, this is also a case of, like, guns in gameplay being the equivalent of throwing marshmallows at someone, and then guns in cutscenes just being, fuck off, you're dead now. No game will ever be as, wor as bad as Persona 3 with it, but that one's pretty bad. Because they're like, well, we need to get all the members of Noble Team off screen, you know? We gotta kill them. Oh, wait, actually, I need to pause this. Okay. Because they need to get all the members of Noble Team off screen. That's fine. You know, it's a tragedy. Everyone has to die. Such is the rule. Shakespeare said so. Fuck Shakespeare, but, you know, whatever. Shakespeare was all right. You know, I'm not going to hate Shakespeare the way I do Jackson Pollock. Um, Cat just fucking dies there. And I've seen a lot of like talk about it probably because you know you're just killing like on one level you're just like oh we got to kill all the spartans uh she, she she gets shot i guess you know um but in another sense there's this term used in uh feminist writing called fridging and it comes from uh this line in a green lantern comic well a, a scene specifically in a green lantern comic Wherein uh, Green Lantern's girlfriend, who was a character in her own right and had a character beyond being Green Lantern's girlfriend, was killed and her body stuffed into a fridge to fuel Green Lantern's character motivation. And uh, Gail Simone, God bless her, wrote a long, I think a paper or something on women in refrigerators, quote unquote, on the phenomena of like cool female protagonists killed off to support the character development of male protagonists. And I think Bungie's a little more intelligent than that. Uh, maybe. I don't know, because this is a while ago. I don't know exactly what I would or wouldn't put past them. Uh, so, yeah. Like, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. Like, I guess if the glassing popped her shield and then she got, like, an unlucky headshot, I guess the needle might kill her in one hit. But her shield doesn't appear to be popped. No one's does. And there's not the crackling around her. So all in all, it's just kind of a weird scene. It's just like, eh, kill her. You know? And granted, like, it's not that, like, I love Cat. You know? I am not 
my my Twitter name is not Cat Stan number one. You know, my name is not Cat's Left Hit on <laughs> at Cat's Left Nostril. But like, it's just kind of a weird scene altogether. Like, I know they got a killer, but like, do they do they even have to kill her? And if they do, they didn't have to do it like that. All in all, it's just a little unusual, you know? I'm not exactly sure about how to come at it. Uh, it's also why I've been kind of low energy this episode, because I was... Well, I've been recording all, all day. I recorded, like, 11 videos today. Um, and I was kind of revving myself up for that. Um, but yeah, just a just a weird scene, you know? I don't know about it. It's, uh, it's one of the few, like, big blemishes on Reach, because otherwise... Reach is a nearly perfect game. As a shooter of its type, it's awesome. As a story, it's a beautiful tragedy. It shows a side of war that, like, most video games or even most American fucking media don't show. Like, and so it just, it makes it stick out even more, you know? Because if this whole game was just beyond two souls level of dumb war shit happening... I wouldn't care because I wouldn't have to because the whole thing's dumb. And the only reason I would point it out is because I'm pointing out every single stupid thing in the game. But this is one of the only stupid things in this game. But yeah, that's uh, that's the... That might be the worst level of Halo Reach. The finale's coming up. Um, That's been Reach. I've been Alfred. Thanks for coming by. Stay curious.